Hello and welcome to Cadwell Park for rounds three and four of the BRSCC Fiesta Junior Championship. James Waite dominated proceedings last time out of Brands Hatch and subsequently leads the championship. But he's starting in second place behind Danish driver Magnus Kirkwilly. He's on pole position. It's going to be an exciting race. Jake Sanson, it's over to you to take us through the rest of the grid. Thanks, Lloyd. What an exciting second weekend this is set to be with Magnus Krikloui and James Waite on the front row from the Jamsport boys, Ollie Turner and Isaac Smith. Josh Steed, having switched teams to Mutation Motorsport this weekend, is alongside Nathaniel Hodgkiss, Todd Garner and Alfie Glennie on the fourth row from the new girl, Abby Locke, joining the field for the second weekend of the championship. We're still hoping for a few more to come of age as they get ready to turn 14. Rumours of a few more drivers joining the grid mid-season, and hopefully that will keep the grid numbers up. But this is going to be an interesting one with Magnus Krikloui, definitely the man on pace at the moment. Red lights go out. Let's race at Cadwell Park. It's a cracking start from Crickley, but I think Waite has got a little bit more momentum as they head up to Coppice Corner for the first time. He has outdragged Crickley, who decides to get up the inside. Josh Steed is going to outdrag both the Jam Sports. Look at that. He's past Smith and past Ollie Turner. We're on board with Ollie Turner now in fourth position as he follows his good mate and close rival, Josh Steed. I have to say, Josh is in absolutely fine form this weekend thus far. Didn't have the best of qualifying sessions, but he looks so much more settled in the Mutation Motorsport team, having moved across for the second round of the championship. And now he looks like he's got the metal to become a championship contender. Up and over the crest of the rise, down the park straight and into park corner. And it is James Waite in front of Magnus Krikloui. Then it is Steve Turner, Isaac Smith, Nathaniel Hodgkiss is in there in sixth position in front of Todd Garner. Then it's Alfie Glennie and Abby Locke. So we ride on board with Isaac Smith, who did such a fantastic job last time out, if you recall, at Brands Hatch. Bagged his podium on his debut in the championship. Really good to see him up the sharp end. And now he's hustling his teammate, Ollie Turner, a little bit too much, actually, as they come off the gooseneck, down the drop into Mansfield. And I have to say, Isaac Smith is pushing very hard to get back on terms with his teammate. So Ollie Turner, third in qualifying, fourth at the moment, is looking for his first win of the season. Bagged another podium last time out at Brands Hatch. He's hoping for more again here this weekend as Magnus Crickley goes up the mountain, chasing after James Waite. The Jamsport team leading the way from race car consultants, Magnus Crickley in second. The Mutation Motorsport driver, Josh Steed, is there in third. There's Ollie Turner leading his teammate in the Jamsport Brigade, fourth and fifth behind the race leader, their teammate, James Waite, as he goes into the hairpin. He's got a problem. Oh, Wally Turner's got a problem. That is a disaster here on the first lap of the race, first lap of the weekend in race trim, and Oli Turner is out. That is an absolute disaster. Wow, what a shame for Oli Turner and the Jamsport mechanics. They will realise he's not come through, and they'll be rushing into the pits to see if he can make it back there. They might be able to get him out again, even at the tail of the field. He'll score some points for the championship. But that has impeded Isaac Smith. You can see there he's dropped off the back of the top three. I think he wasn't quite sure what was happening to Wally Turner. And that's held him back as Josh Steed pushes very hard. Gets a little flick of the grass as they go back up the park straight for the second time. Well, James Waite leading the way. Magnus Quickly in second. And Josh Steed has gone with them. Three different teams in the top three. That's how tough it is in the Fiesta Junior Championship. Very good racing drivers, the three of them too. James Waite, Magnus Quickly, and Josh Steed. But it's looking like three out of three in the championship at the moment for James Waite as Ollie Turner brings the car into the pit lane. The Jamsport boys are not really sure if this is a, well, I think their immediate instinct is that maybe it's a puncture, but I think it might be more than that, unfortunately. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a long day at the office for Oli Turner, and that is such a shame. So the race leaders come off of Mansfield and make their way up towards the mountain once again. James Waite holding off Magnus Quickly, the Danish driver, racing in Great Britain this year. And there is Josh Steed, third position in the Mutation Motorsport car, up and over the crest of the mountain and up towards Hall Bends. Very tricky, this part of the circuit. Right, left, you're blipping the brake, you're nudging the throttle as you go through right and left again and then into the hairpin slowest corner on the circuit you've got to get the car very nicely stopped and evenly out of the corner on the throttle then through barn and then down that drop once again onto the start finish straight once more terrific battling now this is a battle further back we've got Alfie Glennie battling away with Todd Garner so Alfie Glennie in the specialized motorsport car is trying desperately to hang on now having got past Todd Garner in the early stages 
And now the specialised guys have got a lot of respect for Alfie Glennie. They see uh, him as their future driver, uh, not just in the Fiesta Juniors, but there's also already talk of him uh, basically moving on from Fiesta Juniors once he's done and going into their senior team. They say he's a top talent and everybody I've spoken to has said that Alfie Glennie definitely has a long future ahead of him. The difficulty is, of course, he's coming into this season as quite a few of the drivers in this year's grid are as rookies. And we've got this very odd transitional period in the Fiesta Junior Championship when a lot of the established drivers from last year have moved up into senior racing. They all turned 16 or 17 and have basically moved on to senior competitive racing. And a lot of the interested drivers in the championship are 12 and 13 at the moment, so are not actually able to make the step up. So it's a bit of an awkward phase for the Fiesta Junior Championship in some respects, but there's plenty of interested drivers on the sidelines waiting for the months to tick on so that they can turn 14 and get themselves on the starting grid. And there's plenty of interested teams with cars ready to go. Obviously, Jam Sport runs several drivers, race car consultants, uh, specialised motorsport, and then, of course, we also have Mutation Motorsport and Daniels Motorsport, top teams in the Fiesta Brigade, who are all ready to go and run their young drivers of the future. Not a bad run, this from Alfie Glennie. He's got past Todd Garner and is starting to get away. There is the 80, uh, 62, sorry. There's your race leader, though. James Waite took both the victories at Brands Hatch. Oh, Magnus Quickloe gets a little bit wide there out of Charlie's, puts two wheels on the grass, gets it back before he throws it into the chicken house. And he's working very hard indeed here to stay with James Waite, the winner of both races, of course, last time out at Brands Hatch and looking like he's going to make it three out of three here. So James Waite is definitely in command of things at the moment. We're on board with Josh Steed, third position at the moment in the CIDT V-Pass car. And Josh Steed doing a grand job to stay with them after his uh, disappointments in qualifying. He was fifth on the grid, which is not where he wanted to be. He felt he could have gone a lot faster than that, but mechanical problems held him back. So uh, the fact that he's now running with the top two, this is a great bit of confidence for Josh and the entire team. He looks really happy with the car now. And when he's got a good car underneath him, Josh Steed is definitely a championship contender. Magnus Quickloe, meanwhile, is putting a lot of pressure on James Waite to force him into a mistake. So this is going to be an interesting challenge. And effectively, Quickloe needs to break the deadlock here. He needs to find a way past James Waite to stop the bandwagon rolling. We've seen this a few times in the past with Fiesta Junior drivers. Once they get into a winning streak, it's very, very difficult to shake it off. You've only got to look at the likes of JJ Ross, uh, Jerry Nicosia, Aaron Thompson. They've all won the uh, Fiesta Junior Championship in the past. And once they get a good few wins underneath them, they are very tough to beat. Of course, the reigning uh, couple of champions have uh, made their way up the order now. So that leaves James Waite very much in command of his faculties at the front of the field here. Two wins from Brands Hatch. Oh, he's pushing very hard indeed as they come up towards Charlie's once again. Battle further back, that's Isaac Smith in the uh, second of the Jam Sports in this race, in fourth position now, with behind him Nathaniel Hodgkiss. So I have to say, compared to qualifying, as Hodgkiss does a little bit of grass tracking, Hodgkiss's qualifying time was a 148.3, Isaac Smith's was a 147.1. So that's a second between them, which is quite common in Fiesta Junior qualifying sessions. It's in the race where these guys really come into their own. So let's not forget that Isaac Smith was a podium finisher last time out of Brands Hatch. And Nathaniel Hodgkiss was about a second away from him in qualifying as we go off, uh, go on board again with Isaac Smith. But this is proof that Nathaniel Hodgkiss is really gaining momentum because he's staying with Isaac Smith and doing a grand job. He's pumping in sector after sector after sector, keeping with him, staying close. And this one race is really doing Nathaniel Hodgkiss' confidence a massive cannon boost because he's got plenty of momentum to take into the second race, plenty of positives to take into the third round of the championship. And that's the big thing for these rookies at Fiesta Junior level. They've got to take each weekend as it comes. They're obviously starting their car racing career in front of a big audience, in front of a tough crowd. And obviously they want to make a good impression right from the off. And it's hard to develop that kind of good momentum that's going to carry you through the season that's going to take you into 2019 with a championship attack for the rookies it's always a challenging first year and it's great to see drivers like Isaac Smith and Nathaniel Hodgkiss really starting to get the handle of this car getting good at racecraft I mean look at how close Hodgkiss is staying 
to Isaac Smith, who was on the podium last time out at Brands. He's doing a grand job here, Nathaniel Hodgkiss, and it's uh, really, really, really encouraging to see these guys uh, jog on a pace. The more these guys push, the more these guys do hard work, the better they're going to get. You just saw a flicker in the pit lane, by the way, of Ollie Turner's car. They're trying to repair it, I guess, in time for race two so that he can try and fight for the podium again. But whatever happens, he's going to be starting that race from uh, the back of the grid, ninth position effectively. So that's definitely not going to be a good place for Oli Turner to start. The good thing is, through his jazz car days, he knows how to get a good overtaking manoeuvres in equal machinery with other drivers. So he should be able to work his way forward. And he's done that a few times in uh, Fiesta Juniors as well. But his 2018 campaign does not look to have started with much more luck than the middle phase of his 2017 campaign. But it's looking good for James Wade to really establish a concrete advantage at the front of this race as we watch Isaac Smith trying desperately to get away from Nathaniel Hodgkiss, who will not be shaken off here. Great racing. Back to the leaders. James Wade still in front of Magnus Crickleby as they come off of the chicane and up the mountain. James Wade going well. That sky is looking particularly ominous. Oh, he's pushing very hard. He actually got a wheel on the white line there. So I wonder if there is potentially going to be a threat of rain in this one because obviously we've got a short race. There's only a few laps to go. But if rain strikes at the wrong moment here at Cadwell Park, this could be very treacherous. Through Barn, looking good for James Wade. As Magnus quickly, he's gone wide. Get it back on the road, Magnus. Come on, careful, careful. Goodness me, he saved that. That was beautifully done. He very nearly took that into the barriers and he got a little bit of a cheer from the team as he came through well done Magnus well saved come on get back on the horse keep pushing you can get under James Wade's skin that was beautifully done from Magnus quickly to save it James Wade's got the white line he's going to go off into the tyres oh James Wade the race leader oh and he's rolled it oh James Wade has got this all wrong red flag immediately when a car rolls over in Fiesta Juniors it's game over that that means he's the cause of the red flag so he's going to be out of the race. That means the victory is going to be handed to Magnus Kriklowy. Josh Steed is going to be second here. Well, that has thrown the championship fight wide open because James Waite is going to be classified as eighth and DNF. So Kriklowy wins it from Steed and Smith. Hodgkiss is fourth from Glennie, Garner and Abby Locke with Waite and Turner out. This is a new game now. Magnus, congratulations on your victory in race one in the Fiesta Juniors. It was a bit of a tight battle there as well. Yeah, it was tight and um, well, James drove very well, but unfortunately for him he went off, but yeah, we drove, we drove. it was very tight, yeah, very good racing. First win as well, and um, first visit to Cadwell Park I'm assuming, uh, what do you think of the circuit? It's a very nice circuit, very driver circuit, very tricky, so it's quite nice also to get the first win here. Very good, congratulations, we look forward to seeing you in race two. Thanks. Josh, congratulations on second place. What a what a race that was! A lot's going on out there. How is it for a driver? I I just I just couldn't believe where I've got to where I am now. Because starting from fifth, not having a good quality, not having a good day's testing, it's just it's just great to get a good start, get up there with everyone else, and just progress to second. Do you think you can capitalise on that? Have a really good start in the second race and challenge Magnus. Well, we'll have to see. Any, anything can happen in racing, so hopefully I can. be a bit more interesting, but we'll have to see. Congratulations once again. We look forward to seeing you out there later Thank on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Isaac, congratulations. Third place here at Cadwell Park. What a tough race. Thank you. It was a very tough race. Well, I can't thank the team enough for bringing the car here. And it's perfect all weekend, so hopefully we can bring it on to the next one as well. Happy with the setup going forward to the next race? Probably a few alterations before the next race, but we should be okay for the next race. We look forward to seeing you out there. Congratulations once again. Thank you.